always been interested in aviation and uh, I had the GI Bill to use and I did some research and I found PIA and I went toward the school and thought it was a good deal and I'm happy I did it. Pure dumb luck. <laughs> Uh, we, I saw that the Rockford Airport was expanding every year and I was at home with my kids. So I saw I had an empty nest coming up and I went, I wonder if there's jobs in aviation and of course there are plenty. So I, I started the first day just wanting something to make money at and I fell in love. When I was younger, uh, my family used to go to a place called Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It was a big like aviation uh, event type of thing. So I've always been around aircraft my whole entire life, and my grandfather was an aviation mechanic too. So I decided to follow his footsteps and pursue that in my, this type of career. I, I was in the Navy for eight years, jet engine mechanic on F-18s. I've always liked fixing stuff, and my, both my brother and dad are uh, AV mechanics, so it's kind of in the family. Um, my dad was a pilot. Um, I have my bachelor's degree, and I have a professional pilot degree also. Um, so I just love the world of aviation. And then when I was getting my piloting degree, there was a with engines and aircraft systems class that I took. So that's how I got into sort of this vein of it. I've always loved fixing stuff, or I've worked on my own vehicle and everything. And uh, my first intent was to go be a pilot, but then I started working on the airplanes as like a backup and realized that's actually like kind of the way I want to go. I just saw it as a good career opportunity. Um, something that I could not have to go to a long four or five year school, but something that I can make the money that someone that did go, and it seems like there's a lot of job opportunities. And I worked avionics in the, the Marine Corps on 53s, and I like working on stuff. Um, I've always done a lot mechanically, and I was talking to a friend who works in the industry, learned about how much he loves it, how much money he makes, it just... Ever since I was talking to him about that, it's always been something I wanted to do. Uh, I've always loved planes, so like growing up, like I was really fascinated with aviation. At first, I wanted to be a pilot, and then I wanted to be an like aviation engineer. And then I was like, ah, I like working on things because like I like getting my hands dirty. So I just thought that was the best combination of the two, and that's basically um, how I got into this. So. That's kind of what happened to me too. I actually came to Embry-Riddle and I wanted to be a pilot at first. Then I flew a couple months and flying was cool, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted more hands-on tasks in nature. So I kind of got into talking to the cars about with my friends and stuff like that, got more of a feel for it, and then changed to AMS and have never looked back since. It was a great choice. There's a there's a handful of things. Uh, air data tester, one of those those uh, pieces of code would be pretty cool to have. Uh, similar to like the ones we used here, uh, the electronic uh, boxes. So I'd have to agree with that. There's a lot of equipment here that you know we don't have any experience with just because we don't have access to that kind of a resource. And it'd be great if that could be brought into the school and schools in general. I'd like to get my hands on the more hands-on with the ultrasonic tester. Yeah. It's a NDT, non-destructive testing. Um, it's being used more and more with composites. Uh, instead of doing like the, well you can't use the some of the other ones on composites, it just won't work. So I really like that one. I, I, hope, I hope our school can get a better unit. One thing that's, I've, I've seen a few uh, instances of is uh, the record keeping and how they're digitizing all the manuals. And then uh, they can take those uh, changes as they come up from the FAA or the manufacturer and in real time it just updates uh, right to the technician on the floor. Antenna testing, our field, they've got some nice equipment, some really nice equipment that we could. The Ultrax, Borescope, um, and the system that they use to capture images and to measure um, blades in the uh, engine is really, really interesting to me as well. For me, it's the perfect point in each drill. I, I did that event and I loved it. It was so easy to remove five passengers. It took four minutes and it was just efficient and would save tons of time and money in the industry. So I definitely would look forward to using that.